I will be... Hello? Yes. Uh, I will be retelling Ovid's The Flood, the story that is referenced in Heretus Principis 1 and Heretus Principis 2 in about stage 39 of the Cambridge Latin series. Yes. And just as Titus and Publius retold it in their own words, I will be retelling them in my own style. Alright. Now, first. Firstly, in the beginning, Jupiter, God of the Sky, Yes. Jupiter, seeing the wickedness of man and humanity, decided to rid them all from the earth from which they live. He decided that throwing a lightning bolt across the sky would be a good idea to kill them off all, or kill them all off. But after careful consideration, he decided that was not a good idea. Because he and his brothers and sisters lived in the sky, so using that logic he would burn himself to death. That's just not a good thing. So, instead, he went on a different course of action and decided to drown the earth in water. So he sent out giant rain clouds to go and flood the world. In the, in the process, he locked up the north wind in the cave of Aeolus. And he set free the southern wind. Yes, and the southern wind is described as having watery wings that, like, dripped with water, and hair that flowed like rivers, and his beard carried clouds within it, so that whenever he came out, a bunch of other rain clouds came out too to come and like, just never stop raining, and eventually flood the earth, yes. Still his anger not ceasing, he called upon the help of his brother, old Neptune, to go and help him in his destruction of humanity. Neptune struck the earth with his trident, and a bunch of water gushed forth, and eventually flooded the entire world. Yes. People could no longer tell where the shores and the beaches were, and the survivors that were there survived by either climbing up mountains, you know, paddling around in boats, and living by, like, fishing off the fish that were stuck in the trees, because there was so much water, all the fish got stuck in the trees. And... That's how it works, I guess. Yeah. There was mayhem everywhere. Earth was completely flooded. And that is the end of the story. Now, for some context. The reason why Zeus locked up the north wind was because the north wind was the wind that would take away the rain and the rain clouds. He couldn't have that. So, after locking up the north wind, he set free the south wind which was the wind that brought forth all the clouds. Yeah, so that's Zeus's logic right there. Lock up two winds, personified winds. I don't know how that works, but it works. Yeah. And Neptune has like a really small role in the story, but a role in the less, so yeah. Okay. The end.